Hi, welcome to Intigyan. Today we are going to solve one Olympiad practice problem on simultaneous equation x square minus y is equal to 31 and y square minus x is equal to 31 again. x is not equal to y. We have to find the value of x and y. So let us start by considering first one as equation 1 and this one equation 2. Now take away 2 from 1. So I am writing equation 1 minus equation 2. Once you do that, then it will come out x square minus y square and minus of minus x will become plus x minus y equal to 0. Now difference of square formula, a square minus b square can be written as a plus b times a minus b. So I will write x square minus y square as x plus y in one bracket, x minus y second bracket plus x minus y equal to 0. Take x minus y common. So x minus y times x plus y plus 1 equal to 0. Now see the condition x not equal to y. How many solutions are there? x is equal to y which is not possible and from the second equation x plus y plus 1 equal to 0 that means x plus y equal to negative 1. This is how you will find out x plus y value. So this we will call equation 3. Now I am going to add both the equations. Now consider equation 1 plus equation 2. So let's do that. x square plus y square minus x plus y equal to 31 plus 31, 62. x square plus y square minus x minus y. So I took minus common. Now I will apply x plus y equal to negative 1. So x square plus y square negative 1 equal to 62. So x square plus y square that will be equal to 61. 60 minus times minus will become plus. So it will, if you take away 1, both sides, then it will come out. 61. Now take the square of equation, squaring of equation 3. That is x plus y equal to negative 1. Consider square both sides. Now a plus b whole square, I will write a square plus b square plus twice ab equal to 1. Minus 1 square is plus 1. Now from equation, this is equation 4. From equation 4, I will put here 61 plus twice xy equal to 1. So twice xy equal to 1 minus 61. That will give us negative 60. So xy is negative 30. This is equation 5. So important equations are equation 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So I will use now only one step is pending that is how to calculate x minus y. x plus y is known, xy is known. So how we can calculate by using one identity. So I will write x minus y whole square that is equal to x plus y whole square minus 4xy. You can check any time this is very important identity in squares. So let me find out x minus y. 
So x minus y square will be equal to x plus y whole square. x plus y as you can see this value is negative 1. So negative 1 square minus 4 times negative 30. So that will be 1 plus 120. So it will come out 121. That means x minus y whole square is equal to 121. So x minus y will become plus minus 11. This is again important equation. Now only concern is x plus y equal to negative 1 and x minus y equal to plus minus 11. Now let's consider x minus y equal to plus 1 plus 11 and x minus y equal to minus 11. And see the first equation which we calculated earlier. X, this one equation number 3 equal to negative 1 x plus y equal to negative 1. So once we add both the equations then 2x will be equal to 10 x will be equal to 5. Once x is 5 so 5 minus y equal to 11 y will come out negative 6. Now second set where x minus y is negative 11, I will add both the equations then 2x will be equal to negative 12, x will be equal to negative 6, put negative 6, so negative in first equation x minus y equal to negative 11, so negative 6 negative y equal to negative 11, so y will come out 5. Only swapping in the values. In first set x5 y minus 6. In second sex, set x minus 6 y5. Okay. So your values are x equal to 5, y equal to negative 6 or x equal to negative 6, y equal to 5. These are two solutions. If you want to cross examine, cross verify, then we can. So check. How we will check? Write both the equations first. x square minus y equal to 31. Let me put value minus 6 square minus y means 5. So minus 6 square is 36 minus 5. So yes, it is true. If I am putting second set x equal to 5, so that will be 5 is square minus of minus 6. So that will be 25 plus 6. Again, it is true. Now, if you want to check the second equation, then equation is y square minus x is equal to 31. I am putting first set y is negative 6, negative 6 is square minus 5, so that will be 36 minus 5, 31, so it is true. And second set is y5 x negative 6, so 5 is square minus negative 6, so 25 plus 6 that will be equal to 31, so means both values are correct. Both sets are correct. x equal to negative 6, y5, x5, y negative 6. These are two answers. If you like this video, please do subscribe my channel for more such videos. Thank you so much for watching.